In today's pool lesson, we're going to discuss this nine ball situation and I'm going to show you the best possible way to run out from there. Well, you're probably asking yourself, what is the actual difficulty here? We just have four balls on the table, there are no clusters and we have a really easy shot on a six ball to start with. Before I'm going to explain how I am clearing this table and especially why I'm doing it that way, just have another look at the layout, pause the video right now and think about how you would clear the last remaining balls. Alright, we're doing it step by step. First of all, always ask yourself what angle do you need to get nicely from the 7 ball to the 8 ball. First of all, we have two options. We could either play the 7 ball into the corner pocket or into the side pocket. If we're playing it into the corner pocket, then this is our straight line. And the cue ball has to be on this side of the straight line so that it goes naturally towards the 8 ball. If we're on this side, then it goes away from the 8 ball. It's the same with the side pocket. Imagine this is a straight line. So if you're on this side of the straight line, the cue ball goes away from the 8 ball. However, if we're on this side, it goes towards the 8 ball. Well, how do we decide in which pocket we want to play the 7 ball? We do it like this. Imagine this is the shot into the side pocket. We don't want to be straight, so we either want to be here. We don't want to have too much angle, so this is our position window and you can see it's not that big. Now compare, you want to play the 7 ball into the corner pocket. Then we can basically be everywhere from here towards here and we will have a nice shot on the 7 ball to go naturally towards the 8 ball. So the position window is just bigger if we're going for the 7 ball into the corner pocket. So this is what we're going to do. So remember, where is the straight line? The straight line goes towards here. And this means we want to be on this side. Now, a big mistake that some people would do is they are trying to get around the seven ball and bring the cue ball towards here. But this is not going to work and I will show you why. So I'm playing this shot with low and left spin coming two rails around for the seven ball. Just follow the line of the cue ball and follow the straight line. You will see you have a very low chance to get on that right line because the cue ball takes really quite a while to finally cross that line. So this is not the way we're going to play it because it's just so difficult to get on this side. So let's set everything up again and I'm going to show you how you should do it. We are going to play the shot with high right. This means a tiny bit of inside spin, just one rail passing the nine ball. And yes, I know I always preach, don't play shots with inside spin because it makes the shot harder. And yes, this is true. You might have 10-15% um, more success rate to actually make the 6 ball if you're playing with low left and going this path. But now imagine, you're on the wrong side of the 7 ball and you also have to get from the 7 to the 8 ball. So, for example, being here or being here makes 30-40% of a difference if you actually run the table by getting a position on the 8 ball. Let's actually show you how much more difficult it is if we are on the wrong side. So here I have to play low right, bring the cue ball towards here and towards here for the 8 ball. So see how hard I have to hit and how much I have to force the cue ball. And we even, no we didn't mess up, but this was just a lucky shot. So a lot of cue action was required and it just wasn't natural. So let's set the whole thing up again, put the 7 ball back on the table and now let's pretend we actually made the right decision and brought the cue ball to this side by just going one rail. So the cue ball ends up randomly here and all we have to do is just support the natural angle with a touch of left spin and get a nice position on the 8 ball. So just compare how I have to stroke the cue ball now. You see how easy it is, just a natural ball, just roll it in, get a nice position on the 8 ball and on the 9 ball. And that's why I'm playing the shot with inside spin, which makes the shot a tiny bit harder, but by getting here I have a much higher chance to run the whole table. 
So always think in percentages and not just for a single shot, but for the whole rack, of course, if you're trying to clear or run the whole rack. Okay, let's play it in every different variation there is. So first of all, let's try to make the seven ball into the side pocket. And this is always just the first try, by the way. So nothing of this is staged. So I'm trying to get into the side pocket with low left again, this time a bit more. And here you have it. I already ended a bit on the wrong side of the straight line. So I maybe have to catch the nine ball, touch of inside spin. And I kind of got a position on the eight ball. So you see how much I already had to work because I was a tiny bit off. So let's see what we can do if there is any offensive way. So I'm trying to cut it in. And I missed. And this was just because I made the wrong decision by trying to bring it into the side pocket. Okay, let's set up everything again real quick. So now we're trying to actually get around the seven ball with low left again, a bit harder this time. And you see, I'm never able to get that right angle here with this cue ball path. So now I have to work really hard, probably going to catch the nine ball, low touch of right spin make the eight ball so again see how much more difficult this is and we messed up you see really difficult to judge now let's actually do a version that i didn't mention by trying to bring the seven ball into this corner pocket so in the best case we get straight on the seven ball so let me check that trying to get as straight as possible here on the seven ball And you see, I messed the shot up. I'm not that far away from straight. You see, if the cue ball is here, then I'm straight. Cue ball just a tiny bit away and I'm not straight. So again, I have to force the cue ball. Very, very tiny position window on the shot. So I'm trying to do it, playing it high, touch of left spin coming towards here. But to be honest, this is not the shot you wanna play, of course. Turned out great, but again, um, it's not very controllable. We got a bit of an angle on the eight ball, but this is not the shot you wanna play. All right, let's now do the final and easiest version, in my opinion, at least. All right, now let's try to actually bring the cue ball towards here with high and just a tiny bit of right spin, going that one rail path. This turned out perfectly. You see how far away we were from that straight line. And this is actually the perfect angle. Looks maybe in the camera like a lot of angle, but this is perfect. Just a natural ball, a bit of supporting left hand spin. And that's basically it. So center cue ball, go out to the left, just play it in. You see how well this ball is to control. The cue ball traveled actually the perfect path towards the eight ball. So now let's play the eight ball and the nine ball. I could go two rails, use the long rail, but I'm not going to do this because I don't want to actually use that inside spin here and risk missing the shot. So this is a bit more speed sensitive going this one rail compared to this two rail very nicely going towards the nine ball. And then just uh, let's play the nine ball in finally. Yes, guys, I know not every single one of you is already at that level where he can execute every single one of the shots I was showing in this video. But your goal should be that in the end, it's not a matter of execution anymore. This means, are you even able to make the shot? Are you even able to get the cue ball to this position? No, it should be a matter of just making the right decision and then just executing it. And I know pool is a difficult game. I know the struggle, but I'm sure if you work hard, if you practice a lot, if you play matches, and of course, if you're watching my videos, 
then you will finally reach that level. Okay guys, by the way, if you like the jersey that I'm just wearing, the official Sherry Vary jersey, or the Pool is Live shirt that I was actually wearing in this video, and uh, many more different shirts especially designed for pool players, then check out my shop. The link is in the video description and uh, down here. Alright guys, um, if you like this video, of course, consider to leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, I will answer your questions. And very important, if you want to improve your game, if you want to get notified once I'm uploading new content, then subscribe to my channel and very important, hit the bell notification. Okay guys, that's it for today. A huge thank you goes out to my sponsors, to every single one of you who is supporting me, especially my patrons. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.